Got another boss coming. This is Spray and Pray. You have to have some... Oh my goodness, look at the fireworks at this point. Oh, Spray and Pray, baby. You are gonna the one gonna get sprayed and prayed on this time. Oh, look at the melting. Look at the melting. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone to Survivor Mercs. This is a team-based, I guess that's how I would call it. Team-based Bullet Heaven Survival Roguelike. And I actually like that we're getting more and more of this. So every time we're gonna be selecting a commander who basically does nothing aside from walk around and pick up experience points but instead we're gonna hire mercs as you can see here um we have a barracks here so, the, so these are the mercs um currently available we have like critter curveball reaper shredder and they're actually gonna be doing the fighting for us and we're gonna be upgrading their weapons and skills and abilities along the way what makes the whole commander thing a bit unique though is that we get traits i mean of course it's the most basic one Ooh. okay we got this guy who's unperceptive worst view range and then faster but weaker and then quaker i actually just unlocked this the quaker so i think that he now has he can now swing a weapon so this particular commander is not all that useless i would say who else do we have here um color blind can't see colors has a dash but moves slower so and these traits really change the gameplay and or your play style i got my first win with a commander who had like i forgot like 200 percent more pickup range and it just went crazy and with that win i actually pretty much unlocked most of the available meta progression in the demo so here in the armory we have the basic stuff that you can upgrade it actually unlocked everything so far crit chance movement speed hp attack speed magnet all that good stuff we know all about this already and then um again the barracks is where you can recruit in the genome lab though this one i haven't all unlocked yet so you can unlock perception characteristic and talent for your commander and again these are all very good stuff like quaker it was the most expensive one so i chose to unlock it slower swings a massive hammer so again that completely changes your commander from someone who i was just talking about is completely useless to someone who actually has a melee attack so very interesting stuff you have your treasury here so that you can save some of your blood diamonds which is the uh, meta progression currency here over the top right we have 220 of it we also have dna so dna so far is just used to revive like fallen commanders but i was watching the dev stream and then they were talking about how it could eventually be used to i don't know like create a commander of your um preference so let's say we want someone with who's nimble and then who is a ninja and colorblind as well we can use dna for that another thing i also saw from the dev stream is how you can actually build up this base so that you can see these empty slots right now i'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work it's not available in the demo right now but we can there's a base building element to it wherein you can unlock more of these and then you can do more progression stuff with it operations i believe is for the different biomes that we're eventually gonna get oh gosh we actually have the greedy commander again i want to go for a run with this guy colorblind though but um let's try to see what the uh the quaker is all about Oh, shoot, wait, we have 220 blood diamonds, so we have to invest that or, or, or else we're going to lose it. Let's put it in, um, let's see, heavy bone, heroic, nocturnal. Sounds interesting. Let's unlock two of these. Nostalgic? Okay, maybe just one of these. Let's go get nostalgic. Okay. So you have to pay up before you go in. Yes, so let's go for a quick run. I'm not sure how well this will end, but we'll do a quick intro run just to see as well what the Quaker is all about. Look at the list. This guy has such... Oh! Oh, wow! That is so surprising, but his um his view range is so small, man. We're going to get in trouble here really quick. Curveball, Spark. Let's get Reaper. I like Reaper here. So, and then... So, there's our first commander. So, okay. This is totally going against what I said about how the commander is completely useless. Well, this is my first experience of a commander who actually has a weapon. So, we got our first question marks here. And so far, from experience, um, what has gotten me some success is to really just go after all of these um, question marks or... Um, destinations on the map so we have the first one that blue parachute thing it is a supply drop one of the best or probably for me like the most valuable thing to pick up um what do you call this 
to pick up in run. So we got our first level up here with Reaper, Piercing, less damage, but more projectiles. I will get that. So you have to wait here until we unlock the supply drop. Now that gives us a bunch of dog tags as well as the banana um, grenades here, which we can aim. So you don't actually aim here. You, can, you can't aim your mercs, but you can aim these um, pickups right here, like the banana <laughs> grenades. And you can see how valuable it is, the um, the whole supply drop thing. We got eight upgrade um, opportunities here. Let's get more. Let's increase our damage and then more projectiles with Reaper. More damage. Yes, more damage. More damage and then more projectiles. Uh, piercing. I'll get piercing once I get damage down better. Movement speed, huh? Three more to go. Okay, I'll take some movement speed. Get damage back up to um 0%. We have one more. I will get... Damage, more damage, and more projectiles. I'll work on piercing in real time afterwards. Okay, we have a closer. Oh gosh, you can see that someone is firing at us, but since we have such limited um, vision, there's there's some health. We can actually we can't actually see where it's coming from, but someone someone is shooting at us, and we can actually take them out. Oh gosh, okay, I got myself hurt there. More damage. Um, I'll actually do more piercing now. Oh gosh. Okay, nice nice intro though into the Quaker ability here. It does have a very long cooldown note. So this one is actually a recruitment zone. So we can recruit more mercs or even if you don't want to... Re perfect. Even if you don't want to recruit a new merc, you actually would still want to go for these because you can do these nice upgrades. Critical hit chance, uh, precision scopes, energy drink, time between shots is actually good, man. I think I'll take that over Shredder. I'm going to get the energy drink here. Because now what's going to happen is we are going to get that upgrade path, as you can see here, every time we level up. So let's get that. And with um, Reaper here, who has such a powerful piercing gun, that is going to be very, very essential. The, the, uh, the diamond symbol over to the right, the destination we're heading to, this one is for the meta currency. This one is for the blood diamonds. What? Where? Where is the diamond? <laughs> if anyone watched that movie. Was that how the script went? No, I don't actually remember. Here come the diamonds. So these are for meta progression. And if you die in run, you lose 50% of these. Um, there's also an extraction option though. I'm not sure, but after several minutes in the run, you actually have an option to like bounce out of here and escape instead of like trying to fight your way till the end. If you do that, you'll only lose 25% of the meta currency of the blood diamonds you picked up. Wait, can I actually... Okay, I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, more supply drops, let's go there. If I, actually, if I can actually aim the quake. It doesn't seem like I can. I'm gonna go for more energy drink here. Oh gosh, this, um, this supply drop is gonna be huge. This could be... These are run changing. I think... Oh gosh, okay so bad with a bad view range with a bad vision wait i just remember don't we, doesn't didn't we pick the guy who has the extra dash i don't think it was that's him okay we got the banana grenades again damage let's get more energy drink here yes more energy drink got the banana grenades again gosh let's try not to get hit here it's so bad we need I don't think there's an upgrade yet for view range, though. For vision range. Okay. Lots. Only one upgrade, though. Damage. Piercing. Let's get piercing. We have the reload time upgrade anyway from the energy drink, so we don't need to be uh, working on that. I think I think we've, we aim the Quaker. Um, what do you call this? To where the direction we're running towards. Yeah, it seems like that. Let's go for more of these question marks here. Oh gosh, I hate these enemies. These guys explode. When you get hit, it is bad news. I'm actually not gonna go for the meta progression one like this one. Let's go for the next one. The, um, get this guy. Oh gosh, okay, never mind. Um, let's go for this one, the recruit. 
instead. Because again, even if we do... But I probably want to get someone now. An another teammate this time. Shredder is a good one. Actually, all of these are good ones. Actually, um... Oh, no, no, not Spark. I'm not a big fan of Spark. I thought this was, like, the drone dude. Curveball throws bombs. But what about the shotgun, huh? Well, the Reaper now is kind of like a shotgun. Curveball or Shredder? No, okay, let's get Curveball here. Oh, maybe Spark would have also been good. Spark kind of has the, um... A defensive component to him, if that makes sense. And you will want someone like that on your team. Someone with some provide some defense. We're dying though. Um, like stun grenades is a form of defense in my opinion, but I will get more piercing with Reaper. Um, we are dying though. Um, this vision is super tough, man. Do a but you can see that below there, it says extraction available. I'm actually thinking if I should activate that. I'm gonna activate that. There it is. We have one minute to get to it. So I'll decide. Let's see. Shrapnel shell, shrapnel count, force field. Oh, we got Spark. This is the guy. Oh, no, that's still him. <laughs> what am I talking about here? Okay, let's try to get shrapnel shells just because we have... Um... But I'm going to try to extract ourselves out of this fight, though. Oh, but there's a supply drop. We could pick up some health from there. But the vision size of this dude really makes me doubt that we can get far in this run. We got Pea Shooter, the first elite. No, not elite. Like a boss in this game. I think it was an elite. Uh, I think we're just going to die here. Okay. <laughs> I saw that one coming. So you can see here we died. We got 290 blood diamonds and then... 50% of that goes away. DNA, you pick these up from the elites that we defeat or the semi-bosses that we defeat. They are bosses. Okay, I can see it over to the left. It says bosses eliminated. So every boss you defeat gives you some DNA. Um, we have 147. Maybe we unlock... How, how much is it for the treasury? 150. Okay. Um, let's go... And do the genome lab here, nocturnal. Let's get. Um, we have 147, right? Okay, let's get heavy boned. Okay, let's see what commanders we're gonna get here. The basic one. Oh gosh, man, don't remind me. A few mercs. Okay, so you can see over to the right, view range is better, all damage is better. Ooh, this actually sounds good to me because I'm not. Interested in getting more than four mercs anyway. What about this guy? Colorblind, but with the greedy. The greedy, again, was what got me to win before, but super slow movement speed. I don't know. Oh, shoot. I'm actually going to try to go for this guy. His only cons are fewer gear slots and merc slots. I think I'm fine with that, but he gets a head start on damage and view range. So the complete opposite of the one we got before. Pay up. Okay, we'll go. So we got good damage. Let's see who is the first Merc we're going to get. I always like starting with, well, really with anyone. Actually, if you get Curveball early, there it is. There's Curveball. His grenades can get pretty crazy. Critter is also good. His name, he's named Critter for a reason. Let's get Curveball here, though. And hopefully we can upgrade his grenades pretty quickly because those get pretty nutty quick. Look at the increased view range here. Look at how much of a difference it makes, man. AOE is in the house. Okay. We got diamonds. And you can see that these, this guy farts and does poison damage to our enemies. Okay, supply drop. So I'm not interested, again, in, in the diamonds. We're going to try to go for a good run here. Possibly a win. Let's try to see if we can get a win. If Curveball does the job, Payload, let's get it. Not a fan of... Oh, look at all these enemies. Though. I've noticed that if you play with Curveball, that it uh, you tend to draw a lot of enemies early on. I guess it's because of his AoE weapon. Okay, we actually have to dodge here. Wow, this is like the first station and we're already dodging ourselves. Okay. Um, time between shots, give me that. 
Give me a good one. Got an energy drink. Got a magnet. Good stuff. Eight level ups. Um, let's get payload. Um, time between shots. Time between shots. Do we have we have normal movement speed, right? I think we do. Not gonna turn into poison grenades though. Time between shots. Yes, give me that. Impact damage. Grenade count. Yes, give me more grenades. And then give me back some more of that damage. 5% more. Pick up range. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Okay. So, next. Pick up range is so huge in this game. Uh, movement speed, crit chance, grenade count, baby. See what I mean when you get curveball early? He just... Look at how he looks right now. Oh, man, with an increased number of grenades. But that short span wherein we had the energy drink, right? The non-stop cooldown. That's a, a good preview of what Curveball can get to. Hit points, time between shots, yep. We'll get to hit points later on. Um, okay, so they're giving us more of these diamonds, which I'm not very interested in. Over here, Curveball. There you go, good, good lob, good lob. But I think we have to um, take out these guys. I hope that he takes out these um, turrets right here. Before I try for this diamond area. Oh gosh, okay. See how huge pickup range is? If we can only have better pickup range... Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go for this. Since none... No new area seems to be spawning. I think we have to go for this one. Oh gosh, okay. More grenades, okay. Loot drop, okay. Let's go for that, those new question marks down there. I need a supply drop. Have we gotten a supply drop yet? It's a, a recruitment. Could be good. Pick up range, XP gain. Oh gosh, but give me pick up range first. Ah, oh, it's still pretty bad. Still pretty bad pick up range, I would say. Okay, let's get this one. If we can get this, it could be huge for us for this run. Gosh, okay. Clear him out, curveball. Clear him out. Good. Okay, we got a new one, Spark. We'll get Shredder this time with his shotgun. I uh, will get magazine capacity for this guy. We need oh, slug shells, time between shots, time between shots. There's another question mark down here. We need some health though right now. Protect me, my soldiers. Protect me. Okay. Uh, magazine capacity. Okay, more for curveball over here. Okay, we got another um soldier site. I'd rather pick up a what do you call this? An item for this from this one. I'm okay with shredder and curveball so far. Here we go. Hit points. Okay, could be good. We still haven't drawn... I forgot what his name is. The one with the drone. It's a protective drone. Okay. Question marks to the right. Let's go. Magazine capacity. Pick up range. Give me that. Pick up range was what got me to win before. But it was a lot more than this. Um, I think it was like a hundred percent more to start with. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, hit points, magazine capacity. Yeah, give me that for um Shredder over here. Good. Curveball is looking good. It's looking as he's definitely looking good. If we can get Shredder upgraded as well, or if we can get ourselves some health, we can actually do some damage in this run. Oh, it's a supply drop. That will be huge, dude, if we survive it. If we survive all the way to that supply drop, get this grenade dude off me. If we can unlock this one, this will be huge, man. 
Okay, auto shotgun damage and knockback. Okay, more magazine capacity. Here comes the first boss. Pea shooter. This will be huge. Give us something good. Doomsday Ray. Oh yeah. So this is, this one you can aim. Let's aim it at the boss. For sure. And then we get the minefield as well. There it is. We got a magnet. I told you that supply drop was going to be huge. Ooh, Sonic Boom. Clear out everyone. Good. We got more health here. Wow. How many upgrades? 10? Okay. More... Hit points, more for payload, more for this guy. Uh, projectiles, I'm okay. Let's get hit points for now. Yes, damage and knockback. Uh, magazine capacity. That's how I like to build this guy. Mm, okay, fine. Projectiles, and then let's get... Ooh, HP. I mean, XP. Grenade count, dude. Okay, more for payload. Okay. We might have a run here. We got the minefield that is both that can damage us as well. The minefield. So we gotta watch out for that. Got two more upgrades here. Oh gosh. Don't explode. Oh goodness gracious. Got me some health. Okay. Hit points. Give me that. Area of effect. Um, time between shots. Let's go curveball. I am banking on you here. Let's go for the uh, the recruit up top there. Get these guys first. Get the turrets, please. Those are a pain to deal with when you're trying to unlock stuff like this. Projectiles for attack. Yeah, let's get that. Okay. Uh, why are we not drawing... I forgot his name. It's always Spark who we're getting here. I'm actually gonna get Spark because we're not drawing the drone dude. Let's just, let's just call him Drone Dude. I'm gonna get Spark because his lightning can cause some stun, which could be quite defensive. Okay, let's go for the supply drop again. Let's go, guys. Come on. Um, Shredder. Shredder with damage and knock back up. I want to upgrade Spark here and then have him have his weapon not be about damage but be all about stunning such bad pickup range though dude i mean compared to the run that i the successful run i had before this is so, the pickup range is so bad or the pickup range then was so good compared to this come on come on come on good magnet Minefield, good stuff. These supply drops are so huge. What did I say at the start of the game? <laughs> um, here we go. Lightning jumps, but less damage. Yes, give me that. And then Spark stuns enemies for a longer period of time. Give me that. More. So I want his lightning to be jumping around, not really causing damage, but stopping people in their tracks, stopping enemies in their tracks. Projectiles. Let's get more curveball here. Get more time between shots. Time between shots. Two more. Here we go. Lightning jumps. Movement speed could be huge. Yeah, give me this. Okay, where where to next? Where to next? Um, to the left. Where am I? <laughs> I'm losing myself amidst everyone here. Let's go, guys. To our mission. We're leveling up at a decent pace, I would say, though. Not bad. Okay. Stun duration, damage, and knockback. Give me a damage and knockback. Feels like we need more damage right now. Ooh, we got another recruit. I want to get an item. We still have space. We have three more spaces for items right now. Let's go for that. Ooh, let's get the, this hall, though. Level up. XP gain. Oh gosh. Give me XP gain right now. 10%. Ugh. <laughs> Banking on my team. Believing in them. Can take us home. 
get us through this. Get this guy. Get turret dude here. Um, hit points, stun duration. Give me stun duration here. Okay, good. Protect me, soldiers. Protect me. Good. Ah, oh, we got the shield, huh? One attack, though? Wait, I can reroll. I can reroll. I've never tried this before. Let's reroll. Pick up right. Ooh, ooh, shrapnel shells as well. Ah, 5% area of effect size, shrapnel chance, and count. Oh my goodness, which one? This could be. This could get curveball OP. Right? But the pickup range, though, can get us leveling up like crazy. I'm gonna get pickup range. We'll, we'll bank on ourselves again that we can level ourselves up. Here we go, even more. Pickup range, yes. Telling you from experience. Look at this, look at how fast we're leveling up all of a sudden now so we can get time between shots, right? I think that was a smart choice. I think so, I think so. Let's hope so. Look at how fast we're leveling up. Um, pick up range, yes. Look at this. It's like we have a magnet. Good. Good choice, good choice. It's giving me hope for this run. Okay, we have... Oh, no, we have another recruit here. If we can get the shrapnel thing, the explosion thing from this. Okay, pick up range. Lightning chain jumps, though. Give me that, give me that. Want defense. Binoculars? Ew, gosh. Here comes Operator. Here was Here's the dude that I was talking about. He provides a drone, look at this, and can neutralize hostile projectiles. Um, or do I, do I get another item, though? I'm gonna get Operator. I like him. Here we go. Anti-projectile pulse. We need that. I love that sound, by the way. Okay, pickup range is huge. Look at this. Look at how fast we're on. Um... Okay, let's get more offense first from curveball. Hit points. Let's get pickup range. Question mark to the right. Let's go, guys. See XP gain, projectiles per attack. Let's get XP gain. For now, with a good quote unquote build. So now we just want to make everything stronger, get everything going as fast as possible here. We get a magnet or something? Supply drop will be huge. I'm not sure if we're getting a magnet or if our pickup range is just crazy. Um, lightning chain jumps. Give me more hit points here. And then give me more pickup range here. M minefield. Watch out for this. It can hit everyone. Including us. I think I just did. Oh! No! No! I got hit by the mine. That was a stupid one. Okay. Area of effect size. Projectiles per attack. Yeah. If we can get projectiles per attack. Area of effect size. If we can somehow get some health from this supply drop. Oh, I don't want to lose this run. Uh, movement speed. No. Yes, give me more hit points. I hope that will help. Okay. Um, crit. Reload time damage. We got health, we got health, we got health. I don't know from where, but we got health. Get away, everyone. Get away from me. Did I get health? We got health. Okay, we got the energy drink. We got another boss coming now. Charger. <laughs> um, reload time. How many do we have? Two more. Pick up range. Lightning chain. We actually need more offense now. Area of effect size from this guy. Okay. Oh, it's going crazy. The game is going crazy now. We need more offense, though. Although... Look at how crazy this is now. <laughs> Where's the boss? We'd get him? Damage and knockback. Yes, give me more damage. 
hit points, more offense, damage, and knockback, yeah. Sonic Boom. Let's wait for everyone to get here, and then we'll Sonic Boom. Area of effect size for the defense, yes. Ah, whatever, we'll Sonic Boom now. Okay. Okay, we're back. No more stupid minefields. I mean, stupid minefield timing pickups. That was my fault. That was all my fault. Who's doing that? There's more health there. Okay, good stuff. Level up. Lightning. We'll get more area effect size here. Yes, pickup range is king in this game. Okay, we got a question mark closer. Let's go to that instead. 150 meters away. Let's go, let's go. This is a charger enemy here. Get away from me. Damage and knockback. Yeah, we need more damage. Let's go, Shredder. For your team. Ooh. Oh, go charge me, man. This will be so good for us leveling up. We gotta be careful here, though. 11 minutes in. So, we do get a boss at the 20-minute mark. And I would very much want to beat him again. Ooh, we gotta recruit! Um... Okay. Damage and knockback. Let's get... Yeah, I'm actually gonna get... Ooh, area of effect. Let's get stun duration, though. Um, I want to get an item here. We have two more slots. I want to get the shrapnel thing for curveball. I feel like that will be super good for our offense. The game does tend to struggle around this point, but it is a very early demo, just do keep that in mind. But it gets crazy and fun, as you can see here. Crit chance! 10% already for just the first one are you kidding me give me that dude we did not get the shrapnel thing but crit chance 50 okay it's okay it's not 10 percent every time <laughs> fine i don't care though man crit chance with all the grenades we're throwing around seems crazy yeah, so right now the game just tends to struggle when it gets crazy like this, especially with Curveball and all his projectiles. All the shrapnel and stuff. But it doesn't stop from the crazy fun you can get, though. Right now we have a good, decent build. I don't want to jinx it again and pick up another minefield. Okay, so I'll level up here. Crit chance. Oh yeah, 30 per- Wow! It was 5% a while ago, and now 30, uh, plus 15%? Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? 40% crit now! Okay, if the game looks like it's supply drop. If the game looks like it's struggling too much. Since we've recently, um, what do you call this? Applied fast forwarding in our videos if anyone has seen my other videos if anyone has even seen any other if anyone has even is watching this um i will do a fast forward effect maybe to um alleviate this stuff okay crit oh yeah more crit more for spark here wait we're at plus damage now? I did not realize that. Ooh, give me that. Why are we getting swarmed here? Never mind. Supply drop, baby. We got healing. We got the energy drink coming up here. Okay. Stun duration, movement speed, reload time, and damage. Yep. Where is the question mark I saw? Up there. Okay. We're getting a bit swarmed to my liking here. Area of effect size, stun duration, projectiles for attack from Shredder. Uh, oh, this is the one that's causing 
decreased damage. Got it. Um, more damage for Spark. This is more damage, though. Plus 50%. This is only at minus 30, so we're still making up for it. Um, I want to get both. <laughs> Can I get both? I don't like how we're kind of getting swarmed here, though. Let's get the energy drink here. Teach these guys a lesson. Non-stop cooldowns, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I'll probably fast forward to game <laughs> so you can see these fireworks much better. Oh my goodness. Let's go get the recruit. We still have one more slot for an item. Hey, we gotta watch out though. We're a bit damaged here. Okay, level up. Damage, stun duration. Stun duration. Movement speed. Uh, let's get projectiles for attack here for a uh, shredder there's the pulse protect me from the projectiles here pulse give me a good one oh we got the shrapnel shells oh my gosh energy drinks though mm. oh this is a tough one gosh these are both so good, and this is going to be the last one, though, that we can get. Mmm. I'm going to try the shrapnel, though. It might get the game all broken, I think, though, but we'll try it. <laughs> Let's just max out um, Curveball at this point. Get him all OP. Yeah, I'd rather, like, get someone OP here. Um, less damage for the jumps. Hit points. Um, good damage. I don't want to see us falling behind damage here. Ooh, we get another recruit. But we don't have an item slot anymore. So that's where the, the trait of our commander comes in. We can't pick up another item. It would have been nice if we could get an energy drink to go along with this crazy build we already have. Okay, the game is struggling. I'll, I'll maybe... I'll cut some of it out. Some of it, maybe I'll fast forward. 14 minute mark, huh? Level up here, pick up range. Oh, let's get more area effect for our defense. What do we get? What do we get? Where were we? Wait, what happened? Okay. Um, well, here we go. Area of effect size and shrapnel size. Go, please. Level 87. Sonic boom coming up. Get away, everyone. Sonic boom. Nice, beautiful. Where do I head off to now? To the right, there's 100 meters away. Oh, no more minefield pickups. Now I have my own grenades. Okay, thank you. You got me in trouble already before. Um, supply drop. Here's what I'll do. I'll probably fast cut this. Either cut this or fast forward this towards the um the final boss. At least you can see the final boss. And then I'll do like the um the fast the uh, increased video speed for that one instead, so that we can see the, the boss fight. Like it was meant to be seen. Curveball. I know. I knew when I got curveball to start the game that it would be a crazy run. Energy drink. Got another boss coming to spray and pray. You have to have some. Oh my goodness, look at the fireworks at this point. Oh, spray and pray, baby. You are gonna the one gonna get sprayed and prayed on this time. Oh, look at the melting. Look at the melting. <laughs> uh, good stuff, man. Holy snap, a little do curveball. So glad I got you to start the run. Okay, I'll do some upgrading here. Damage, not back and stun duration this time from Shredder. Give me that. More? Yes, this one, of course. Yes, this one. Oh no, the game's gonna get broken. Um, 505 meters away to the left. That is so far though, but let's go. If we haven't been to that side of the world yet. Oh gosh, minefield will remind me of my close call. Okay, heading into 20 minutes now. The boss should be coming out. I really hope I can do some editing magic to this because I really want to show off this boss fight. Mammoth. Hopefully, hopefully I can do some like fast forwarding or something. There he is. He does these uh, crazy AOE attacks. Let's see if we can melt him fast though. Okay, let's just 
Oh, please proceed. Damage. <laughs> Come on, man. Nothing, nothing. Ooh, watch out here. There you go. Six slide. The game's still playing one. Let's get the six slide. Oh, yeah. Uh, more property here. Nothing already. Guys, we're close here. Man, let's almost down. Okay, more hits. And you shall be no more, sir. <laughs> And that is what Survivor Mix is all about. Some pretty crazy fireworks filled fun. Again, still a very early demo, so there's still some performance issues, but you can see there the potential. The whole commander squad thing they have going definitely works. I'm excited to see how the whole base building will add to the game as well as the whole DNA mechanic, how we can create our own commanders because pretty much that's where the game really sets itself apart and it'll be really exciting to see more of that. For now, that shall be it for Survivor Mercs. Please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about the game. The demo is still up, so check the links in the description so that you can try the game for yourself. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one.